I am never going on holiday with you again. I'm never going to give you the chance. Only you could fracture a kneecap picking up a suitcase. Barbara, how many times do we have to go through this? It was an accident. I slipped. The idea of a luggage carousel, Ted, is that your bag comes to you. <laughs> you do not need to chase it round and round and then dive through those rubber flaps. What's that smell? Oh, God. Don't tell me our Neil's left food out again. <laughs> Tomorrow. No, we caught an early flight. Your father's injured himself. Hello. Uh, this is Kirsty. You must be Babs. Barbara, yes. So, uh. <laughs> nice holiday? Yes, it was all right. Weather could have been better. Look, I'm not holding a conversation with you like that. I think we need the key, Kirsty. Are you sure you want to be released? Ooh, well, I don't know. I mean, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd better. <laughs> hello, Neil. Oh, hello, Dad. This is Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Hello. <laughs> You're handcuffed to the bed, Neil. Uh, yeah, I am, aren't I? Why? Oh, I see. Handcuffed? Yes. On our bed. On my side. <laughs> I mean, when will he learn that life's not just about sex? When he's married. <laughs> I mean, we've only been gone a week. So what's this one called? Kirsty. No, I've not met her. What the...? Is that yours? <laughs> no, it's not. Mine are built by Harland and Wolf. <laughs> it's across a fortune. It'd be that Kirsty's. Mm. Looks like our Neil's got his hands full here. <laughs> Hello, love. Hiya, Dad. Have a good holiday. Mm. How's your leg? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but it does when I do this. Now, this... <laughs> ..is fine, but this... <laughs> ..it's agony. Well, strap it up with this. That should give you plenty of support. <laughs> oh, hiya, Linda. Uh, Kirsty, this is my sister, Linda. Hi. You divvy. You said she was pig ugly. She's not that bad. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, Ted, where did you find that? I've been looking all over for it. Have you? Sorry. I can say I'm going to have to keep an eye on you, aren't I? Are you? Yes. <laughs> You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Teddy? A naughty, naughty boy. Am I? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. Now, look, Neil, I want a word with you. Uh, good, because I want a word with all of you. Kirsty and me, we're getting married. <laughs> What are you doing? Going through a ram bag. <laughs> what? Give it here! I'm not having my son marry a woman I know nothing about. Oh, I thought you'd like her. She's attractive, intelligent, she's got a steady job. Ted, she delivers pizzas on a moped. Well, <laughs> people will always want pizza. Yeah, but what a way to find a wife. He orders a pizza and half an hour later a meat feast in leather turns up on the doorstep. <laughs> well, couples meet in all sorts of ways, Barbara. You found me in a cupboard? Yeah. That should have given me a clue. I was hoping Stella Braithwaite would find me. Were you? Well, you got me instead. Yes. <laughs> and why you've had to invite all and sundry round tomorrow, I've no idea. Well, it's just an engagement party. Can't wait to see her family. Be like an episode of Jerry Springer. <laughs> Give the girl a chance. Well, she's not right for our Neil. She seems to me to be a perfectly nice young lady. <laughs> Martin, where have you been? I've been trying to get hold of you. Our Neil's getting married. <laughs> Hello, love. Oh, my God, are you all right? It's just been one of those days at work. What happened? Hello, this is Martin Pond presenting Pond Life from the top of a bus. <laughs> what about this weather, eh? Yes, we're up here on the top deck with the most amazing views of this fantastic city. This great city of the Industrial Revolution. Let me 
cheer you up. Oh, stop it, will you? <laughs> Do you know, no, no one will sit next to me in the canteen. I know you're ticklish. Oh, get off, will you? <laughs> Everything I do goes wrong. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does, <laughs> Linda. Oh. <laughs> you're right, love. Well, I'm really excited by this wedding, Neil. Mm, yeah, me too. I want it to be beautiful, you know, in, in a beautiful church with a with a beautiful dress and a, and a beautiful long train. I mean, I don't want it to be tacky. <laughs> I want, I want gorgeous bridesmaids and, and, and lovely hymns and I want confetti and a vicar and a ring and... Oh, I want proper wedding vows. Oh, so you're going to honour and obey me then, are you? Well, I'll honour. You'll obey. <laughs> OK, then. Bye. Now, listen, Bar. I want you to behave yourself tonight. This engagement party is for our son, all right? That was Kirsty's mum. They're not coming. Kirsty's dad's just been sick. There is a bug going round. No, she thinks it might be the 15 pints he drank at lunchtime. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. Hello. Any sign of the happy couple? Or have they chained themselves to your bird table now? How's the eye, love? Is any better? No. <laughs> Are you all right, Matty? It's work, Ted. Things aren't going too well. I was doing a report today on the dangers of playing with air rifles. Oh, sounds interesting. I shot the weather girl. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, no, she'll be fine, you know. In a couple of days, she'll be able to, uh, sit down. <laughs> Don't let it worry you. Here, get that down, you. Oh, Ted. Everything I do, everything I say, everything I touch turns to disaster. Oh, don't talk so daft. Oh! Oh! <laughs> It's all right, it's all right. I'll clear it oh, up. No, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh! What was that? Oh, it's me, all right, me. Clumsy old mind pond making an idiot of himself again. Oh, go on, go on, have a good laugh. I tell you what, I'll go and get the neighbours. They can have a laugh as well. Oh! <laughs> 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 Hello. Sorry we're late. You're just in time for evening surgery. <laughs> right, sir. Uh, who's for a drink, then? Martin. Kirsty. Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> oh <I> <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you two know each other? Well, put it this way. I know he's got a scar on his right buttock. How do you know that? I put it there. Has he, Linda? I don't know. <laughs> I always keep my eyes shut. <laughs> You and him? Yeah. How long ago was it, Martin? Oh, God, it must be all nine years. You and him? Martin was my first boyfriend. Yeah, I first met Kirsty when she was delivering a pepperoni pizza to me flat. Oh, she's really come on. <laughs> what a coincidence. It's like when we went to Torquay that year and the chap in the next chalet was also called Ted. <laughs> How are you, Monty? Oh, I'm great. Really great. Monty? As in Python? Oh, no, please! <laughs> you're, uh, you're quite the celebrity now, aren't you? Well, you could say that. I love watching you on the telly. You've got widescreen, then. <laughs> if I'd have known that you were going to make it in TV, I'd never let you slip through my fingers. Well, you had your chance, love. I know. And I've regretted it ever since. You know, this man taught me everything about love, and I mean everything. He was the master. <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, raise our glasses and drink a toast to the happy couple, shall we? Yeah. Um, Neil and Kirsty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Neil and Kirsty. <laughs> I think if we're going to get married, it'd be a good idea if I got a job. He was the best, Neil. He was the master. The what? The master. You heard her, that's what she said. It might have been. Martin, the master. It's possible. We all have our talents. Oh, I don't want to think about it, Ted. Maybe I'm the master. <laughs> Ted, you're putting me off me cocoa. Well, I'm pleased for our Neil. She's quite a catch, that Kirsty. Well, I only hope he doesn't catch anything from her. 
I think I'm gonna like being part of your family, Neil. Hmm. Why have you never mentioned her before? <laughs> Darling, she's one of many. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? No, Martin. I just think she's dirty. Dirty? Yes, I do. I think she's dirty. Well, maybe a little. So tell me, what's Martin been up to all these years? Martin? Yep. I want to know all about Martin. Martin Pond is no longer a disaster area. Martin Pond is back on top. Is he? Well, I think Martin Pond's getting a little bit too full of himself. And Martin Pond's got a cheeky little idea that might cheer you up. <laughs> no, Linda Pond is quite happy as she is, thank you. Hmm? <laughs> oh, Ted, I don't like her. Barbara, you don't have to like her. My parents didn't like you. What do you mean? <laughs> Your father did. Your father liked me a lot. No, no, he couldn't stand you. his medical records. What? Doreen got them for me. She had to ring round all the surgeries to find them. Oh, leave the poor girl alone. Hey, do you want our Neil catching that? You can't keep your nose out, can you? You've always got to interfere in other people's business. Oh, I have, have I? Well, I've stopped doing that now, haven't I? And you can hang your own washing out. There what are you, you doing? Yes, you short. Barbara! Stop it! And you can stay out there and all. Hello, love. Hiya. We thought you'd like a new telly. Hello, Barbara. Mm, he's a great kisser, isn't he? The master. <laughs> Morning. Mm. Hello. Are you watching me? Yeah. Mm. And I was thinking it, it's weird. I mean, I know it's only been a, a couple of weeks, but already I, I feel like I know everything about you. Mm. I can't wait to be Mrs. Loveridge. Liversidge. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And I know that we're going to be really happy together because I really, really love you, Martin. Uh, Neil. <laughs> I mean, Neil. Ah, Neil. It's incredible, isn't it? What's that? You know, you being engaged to one of my exes. <laughs> does, uh, does she still make that little barking noise? Oh, Martin! <laughs> I say barking, it's more of a low, a low growl, you know, like... <sighs> no, she doesn't. Hey, Neil, did you know that uh, I was a first? Yeah, she did mention that. I think I made quite an impression. Yeah? I'm sure you squashed a flat. <laughs> Kirsty's still in bed, then? Yeah. Well, she must be tired from all that handcuffing. Yeah. Have you decided to set a date for your wedding yet? Oh, God, just leave me alone, will you? I'm only asking. You've done everything else at Brett next speed. I just wondered if I got time to buy a hat. <laughs> no, we haven't set a date yet, but when we do, we'll be sure to clear it with you. You know, I always thought that when you want to marry somebody, it's a good idea to get to know them a bit first. It took two years for your father and I to get to know each other, and 40 more to find out we shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain about this girl, Neil? Yes, I am. Do you think I'd be daft enough to go and get hitched to someone I didn't love? Barbara, open the door! <laughs> what you don't understand is that at the moment you and Kirsty have got all this passion. But you see, it doesn't last forever, love. As you get older, you discover that sex is overrated. Especially the way your father does it. <laughs> uh, I can imagine. Barbara! The person you marry has got to be somebody who can be a friend, a companion for life. Open the door, you stupid woman! Shut up, gobbo! <laughs> so, you see, 
It's, it's no good choosing somebody just because you fancy them. You've got to respect them as well. Let me in, you silly cow! Oh, drop dead! <laughs> Oh. oh, oh yes, oh that's it, Martin, right there. Ooh, am I am I giving it enough thumb? Oh yeah, nobody does it better, Monty. You're the master. <laughs> You've lost your mind, woman. Up yours. <laughs> yes. Hello, Brian. Yes, yes, that's fine. No problem. Anything to get out of the house. Where are you going? Brian's brother needs a cab to take his dog to the vet. Well, can't Brian take no, it? No, he can't. Neither can you, with that leg. We'd just be glad to get away from you. Can't we find any two-legged drivers? <laughs> Ted? Is that you? Yes, yes, it's oh, me, Oh, thank Laura. God you're here. Goldie's got worse. Uh, we've got to get to that vet's quick. Well, where is she? Oh, she's right, right down here. Oh. Uh, come on, you, you take me to the car and then come back and collect Goldie. OK. Here we go. That's awfully, Ted. Oh, we're getting worried. Well, I'm here now. I thought it was just a bit of flu, but she's deteriorated rapidly. Just stay calm, Warren. I'm totally dependent on that dog, you know. Wouldn't have worked, Neil. What? You're going? Why? Can't you see how difficult this is for me? Having him, the master, always there, a, a constant reminder of what might have been. Martin? I do still love you, Neil, but compared to Martin, well, he's a 12 course banquet and you're a happy meal. <laughs> oh, come on, Kirsty, uh, we can sort this out. No, I don't think so. Unless. What? Well, I mean, if you are really up for it, me, you and Martin could get together. What do you mean? The three of us. Together. <laughs> <coughs> what happened? I was trying to lift gold in. My knee just gave way. Oh, don't just lie there. Get up. <laughs> I've got a really bad knee. Well, can't you hop? Both my knees have gone. Well, oh, come on, Ted, do something. My dog's going to die. No good one, and I, I can't drive. Oh, come on, Ted. I can't, I can't move the pedals. Okay, don't worry. It's only a mile away. Let me do it. <laughs> I've done this journey dozens of times. Let me drive. <laughs> don't be daft. Well, you can beat my eyes. I used to drive all the time. I can steer, change gear, do the pedals. You just shout out the directions. I'll call you another cab. No, there's no time. We've got to go now. Ted, please. Oh, Goldie. I mean, you know me, Linda. I've never been one to interfere in my kids' lives. But if I can't change Neil's mind, then I'm just going to have to accept it. I know. I guess we've just got to support him. However stupid he is. Mm. And you never know, Kirsty might grow on me. I mean, when you started with Martin, I couldn't stick the man. And now, well, I can nearly tolerate him. <laughs> Look, Neil, I'm really sorry about earlier. It's your choice who you marry, not mine. That's right, love. It's none of our business who you want to spend the rest of your life with. The engagement's off. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Sorry, love. How am I doing? Fine. Don't worry about that. Just go a bit to your left. Real out of the road. To your right. A bit more. Now, slow down a bit. Left. Left, Warren. There's an old lady on a bicycle. Right, right. For God's sake, right. Sorry. Well done, Warren. You just missed it. Warren, Warren. We took a roundabout. <laughs> I told you I could do it. Are we here? <laughs> Can't get over Neil and Kirsty. Linda? I'm ready for you, Martin. I want to experience the master at work. No, just hang on a second. I want you to make me feel like I've never felt before. <laughs> right. I don't know what happened. Well, we can always try again when I've got another spare two minutes. I just spoke to Warren. The dog's fine. You're talking to me now, then? For the moment. Poor old Neil. You know, this whole thing's really upset him. I thought you'd be delighted. No, no. Poor lad's had his heart broken. For the first time ever, he was really in love. Well, in some ways, he's lucky. Most people never experience true love in their entire lives. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor folk. Do you know, you haven't said I love you to me for over ten years, Ted. Haven't I? No, you haven't. Do you want me to? <laughs> well, it would be nice. Well, you know I do. No, but it's nice to hear it once in a while. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, are you going to say it? Well, it just seems daft. Why? Because, well... Oh, for God's sake. All right, I love you. What? You heard. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It wasn't that hard, was it? Now you say it to me. Oh. Go on. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Wasn't too hard, was it? Oh. Barbara. <laughs> Look what I've found. Don't even think about it, Ted. 